Hi, I'm Josiah Stockerman from the 3 and one 4 h Club in Woodson County in the Southwind District. I've been in 4-H for nine years. Seven of those years I've been in the robotics project and I've won Grand Champion many times. I love setting up a course and telling the judge all about my robot and what it's gonna do. The challenge is when I go to the state fair, it's a non-conference judging, which means the judge could mess up a small measurement which can result in the failure of the robot's mission. So to fix that problem, I made a robot this year that just will search in a small area for a black X. This eliminates all measurements that the judge will have to do, ensuring that the mission will be successful, but it required more complex programming. Notice the black X on the floor that the judge will be able to place anywhere. The robot will find the X by traveling in a spiral. It does this by putting a drive forward and turn block into a loop. The loop will go on forever until the color sensors detect the black line. The drive forward will become larger each time by counting the number of loops. It then uses this number as an input into a math block, which will tell the robot how far to drive forward each time. The robot makes accurate turns by using a gyro sensor to turn 90 degrees each time. When the robot detects the black line, it will stop and say, color detected. By far the most work that I have done in the robotics project was mentoring a first LEGO League robotics team. I was on the team myself for three years and I was lead programmer a couple of those years. All three of those years, we won our local competition and have went on to compete worldwide. I am now a second year mentor of the team and I teach the new members the programming techniques that I've learned over the years. There are currently four members on the team and they are all in 4-H. I'm Judah and I've been on this team for four years. I'm Google and I've been on the team for three years. My name's Matthew and I'm in 4-H and I've been on the team for two years. I'm Kyler and I'm in 4-H and I've been on the team for one year. For the competition, you are given a robotics kit made out of Legos and you use this robot kit to build your robot and all the attachments that you want to use and your robot will start in base and you'll be given two and a half minutes to complete as many missions as possible. The more missions you do, the more points you'll get. Your robot has to start in base, do the mission, and then come back to, pay, back to base. If you touch the robot outside the base, you will receive a penalty. So we use so these two large motors right here to move the robot, and then we use this large motor right here to control the attachments that we put on, and then we use this small motor down here to control the up and down movement of our plate right here. And then we use the gyro sensor to help us make turns and go straight. And then we have these two um, color sensors right here to, to follow lines. So this is our first run. We just drive forward and it misses the chicken, drop this wind turbine, and drop the package. It comes in, it drops a cargo container in here, flips this over, um, it grabs it grabs the plane and it flips that down and then it moves that over and then that's about it for that. And the other mission is we just push this and latch that, leave that there, keep going with this, push that, drop the cargo, push down the um, railroad tracks, push the train, hook these two. Then come back, back down the bridge, push this in. This year, I set a goal to learn how to follow a black line. We've always squared up to black lines in the past, but we've never actually followed one. So I looked through a few program books like these and watched a few YouTube videos, and with a little bit of trial and error, we got a line follower program that we liked. And this line follower program gave us more points than we ever have, giving us a score that was competitive worldwide but disaster struck at our local competition. Our robot could not do anything right. So the challenge was it could be one of multiple problems. It could be a problem with one of multiple motors, a problem with one of multiple sensors, a problem with loose connections, even a problem with the programming itself. It was difficult to keep team morale up, but in the end, we fixed one of the two problems, which was a worn out motor giving us second place but we did not have time to fix the second issue, which was a problem with lighting. We are now writing programs which test separate components. So if disaster strikes again at a competition, we have a plan to isolate the problem quickly. First Lego League has taught me to write if-then statements called pseudocode, which I can convert into any coding language.